right, man. The college football playoffs have been set. AP number one in college football number one, LSU, will play Oklahoma in the Peach Bowl in Atlanta at the Mercedes-Benz Dome. Ohio State number two, uh, who was down a little bit early to Wisconsin, came back and popped them, will play Clemson in Arizona at the Fiesta Bowl, um, PlayStation Fiesta Bowl, that is. Talk a little bit about the college football playoffs a little bit. And I'm not sure exactly when they announce the rest of the bowl games, but they really don't matter. Um, this is what matters the most. Some people think they should expand it to 16-8. I mean, uh, I mean, if they do expand it to 16, at least 16, or even 8, I think they have to cut the college football season um, a little bit short. That's a lot of abuse on a, a young adult's body, in my opinion. So, it's my humble opinion on that, man. But uh, uh, Ohio State opened two-point underdogs to Clemson. Uh, that's funny because they have a 35% chance uh, via ESPN index, which ain't always right, um, to win um, the playoffs. But they open up as a two-point underdog. Ohio State, Clemson, uh, Ohio State been more consistent this year. I think they played the better opposition. I know Clemson ended up went playing Texas A&M, and you know, the ACC was just terrible. Um, Ohio State, they did beat Penn State, which – Penn State wasn't that good this year. They struggled with Michigan, and Michigan damn sure wasn't that good this year. Ohio State beat Penn State. They beat Wisconsin, who lost to Illinois. And some people, Ohio State people got mad at me last night, and I was just keeping it real. I don't know how good Ohio State is. At least with Clemson, they lost some players, but at least we know what Trevor uh, Lawrence is going to do with the pressure on and Dabo Sweeney is going to do being a, champion, a two-time championship coach. You know, so with Ohio State, it's a lot – to, um, you know, know, you know, how's Ryan Day going to perform? How's Justin Fields, who hasn't faced zero adversity, plus he got the brace on his knee that's, that's hindering his mobility. But um, I really, I really like the, uh, I like that game. That's that's a great game, and tickets starting off like 10 bucks too. So if you're down in Arizona, man, I think it's Glendale they playing in. Why not take the kids and go? Um, but you got two, you know, future, that could be the future of the NFL, quarterbacks, and Lawrence and, and Fields. Um, I watched uh, uh, Clemson play this year. They struggled when I seen them with North Carolina. They did well versus Texas A&M, but um, I don't know if they can switch that, hit that, flip that switch, flip that switch on Ohio State. Like I said, they ain't played one prominent offense all year. You know, uh, Michigan offense it started to click at the end, but it really won that get. Penn State offense, no Saquon Barkley, no Miles Sanders, really not that good. They can talk about Jonathan Taylor. He's absolutely done nothing. First teams that are that that are in the top ten throughout his career, or whatever they were saying, his first you know game versus the elite opponent that he played well in was yesterday versus Ohio State in the first half. They shut him down in the second. You know, so like I said before, SEC is a different ball game. ACC, Big Twelve, and uh, Big Ten are a little bit behind them. I do think big, think the Big Ten is the second best conference out there, but um, you know what? I don't know who to pick. I haven't watched a lot of Clemson. Um, I do know they got a lot, a lot of, they got a lot of stars on there. I know Georgia had the most, uh, five-star or four-star recruits followed by Ohio State. Um, I, I don't know, man. I think, I think that's close, man. Ohio State got a ton of talent. Um, ACC, I mean, uh, Clemson and ACC is shaped like a SEC team. To be honest, I can't, I can't really call that one. I think that's a, I think that can go either way, to be honest. Um, if I did get an edge to somebody, if it was talent wise, it was just based on talent. I would get an edge to Ohio State, but I seen Ohio State more. I haven't seen a lot of Clemson this year, so you're asking the wrong person. But I think I think that can go either way. No, Tis the two point uh, the two point favorites to Clemson. Just to let you know how close that game is. But I think uh, I think that can go either way. I don't I, I couldn't call it. Um, but I, I, Ohio State got a lot of talent though. You know, up and down the field, they talented. J.K. Dobbs. I mean. Uh, Justin Fields. Only thing that 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 probably make me favor Clemson slightly is because Fields got that brace on his knee. It don't seem like he moving the same. And they playing December twenty eighth, so you know if I did favor somebody, it'd be because Fields a little bit hampered with the leg, but he can play from the pocket a bit. But that's a, that's a that's a really really good. That's the best game period. But um, LSU opened up a ten point favorites versus Oklahoma, and I know one thing if I didn't if I left this video didn't mention it, obviously people gonna say well Alabama should have kept Jalen Hurts. Um, Georgia should have kept Justin Fields. Yes, the latter is true. Justin Fields is a better quarterback than Jake Fromm from Ohio from uh, State Farm. Easy. Jalen Hurts is not a better quarterback than Tua 
Tagalatavoya, whatever his name is. He's not. You know, he went to a conference where they don't play no defense, so he looked good. I wouldn't draft Jalen Hurts in the fifth round. I don't believe I don't believe that he got any better as a quarterback. He benefited from a sorry ass conference. That's it. But saying that, um, they got enough offense to keep up with LSU. LSU defense has been up and down. They got healthy towards the end of the season. They pinned down versus Georgia. I do think Oklahoma offense is better than Georgia's. Um, but then again, they defense terrible. So can it comes down, can Burrow and Hurts go uh point can Hurts can excuse me. Can Jalen Hurts go point for point with Joe Burrow? And if I'm a bad man, I'm taking Burrow and I'm taking LSU defense to make plays on Oklahoma. Oklahoma getting, I'm going to tell you, Oklahoma and Ohio State and, and Michigan, they they get high rankings every year based off uh, they, historically. How many, how much money their alums got? How many people going to travel? It's a favoritism towards those universities. And look, I'm a Michigan fan. It's sometimes when Michigan got ranked high, they didn't deserve to be high over this decade. They didn't deserve to be where they was at. In Oklahoma, every year, you know, they 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 get the benefit of the doubt. They they're not that good of a program. They don't believe in coaching defense. They don't believe in recruiting defense. And it's probably gonna show again versus LSU. I watched LSU a hell of a lot this year. You know, somebody from Ohio State was like, well, you know, Florida wouldn't it? Florida would beat everybody Ohio State beat. Especially if they started the black boy, Emory Jones, or a test. Florida would met would have met Ohio State in the Big Ten championship. Auburn would beat everybody Ohio State beat. Alabama would to it, whatever you want to say, he was a beat up to it. Didn't matter. He beat everything. He beat every they beat everybody Ohio State beat. If not in Ohio State. So ain't nobody trying to hear that, man. Ohio State ain't beat nobody special. Oklahoma. They just all offense. That's it. They all almost lost to Baylor. They don't believe in defense. Jalen Hurts not a good quarterback. He's a product of a system. He's a product of a sorry ass conference. You know what I'm saying? And, and it seems like every conference is sorry. So with these sorry conferences, the college football playoff committee should encourage these dudes to schedule tougher out of conference schedules. Ain't no way LSU. It should have been close between them and Ohio State. Look at the out of conference schedule. Auburn is probably could be the best team in the Big Ten. Alabama, probably best team in the Big Ten. Florida would have met Ohio State in the Big Ten championship if they was on the other side. And who's talking about the Big Ten guy? I'm a Big Ten. I'm being honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Ohio State and Oklahoma and and and. And Clemson, they all in sorry ass conferences. So when your conference sorry, you should be, you should have to go schedule tough out of conference championships. I mean games, excuse me. But I like LSU over Oklahoma. Give me, I'll take LSU plus the ten. Um, Clemson and Ohio State that can go either way. But if I was a bad man, um, I just favor Clemson slightly. Uh, I favor Clemson to cover that too. Um, but um, and then LSU. And Clemson in the championship, I like LSU. LSU is the best team I evaluated all year. Um, the quarterback play has been phenomenal. Obviously, there's some questions about him going into the playoffs. Will he continue to perform at the high level? To me, every weekend SEC is a high level um, must win game. You know, that's just what it is. They defense coming together. That that freshman was a number 24, 27 cornerback, probably one of the better cornerbacks in in in, in, uh, in the country. Receiver Jefferson, the running back, they got. Everything, everything, Dale Pitt, whatever his name, they have everything they need. LSU is by far, in my opinion, head, shoulders, toes, knees, elbows, forehead, the best team in the country. I could be wrong. Uh, if I had to give a second best team in the country, um, I don't know because they all them playing sorry ass conferences and they play week nine uh, out of conference schedules. Tell me a better opponent where Ohio State went out of conference and played and went to a place like Texas. Texas is rated high until they fell apart. No, none of these. Team, these teams other than LSU got a uh, in conference schedule as tough as LSU or out of conference uh, schedule. So, ain't nobody trying to hear that, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Good fellow sports TV. Let me know what y'all think. And it be Georgia on top of that. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you got business question, quiet response, share video request. Want to make a, a donation? At least subscription. Best way to donate is share the video. Appreciate the love, support. One time for the one time. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow, Goodfellow Sports TV, and I love to hear your opinion in the comment section. Just don't get ignorant or disrespectful. We gone.